And again, this is going to be a blend. So we're going to do a lot of great core work for matte Pilates. Basically, it is a matte Pilates, but I'm going to get in all the yoga stretching we can, and that will be um, upper shoulders, neck, we'll get lower back, maybe a little bit of the hips. So I'd like you to bring your knees up and stretch the legs out in front of you. Now you can keep the knees soft, but I'm gonna have you flex your feet and just kind of ground through the sit bones, bring the fingertips out to the side and let's inhale, reach that right arm up and exhale, draw the hand down. Now you can always bring your feet down and bend your knees even more if that feels a little more comfortable for your back. And so the left arm comes up and over and then release that arm down. So inhale, reach up, exhale, let go. <sighs> inhale, reach up, exhale and release. A couple more times, inhale, reach up, exhale, release, inhale, reach up, exhale release big circle up and now release down and one more time reaching up and over and now release so soften those shoulders down let's wrap your arm around the top of your head touch your left ear and draw the right ear to that shoulder walk your left fingertips out a little bit dropping the shoulders down three deep breaths And when you come into your breathing, I want you to just check in. Knowing that when we breathe and we become a little more connected to our body, this is a way that we can really learn how to reduce our stress, let go of any anxiety, and just be very present. And just take one more full breath. And now we'll go ahead and release that. We'll take the hand back down to the floor. Let's take that left arm, wrap it around the top of your head, touch your ear, and draw the left ear to the left shoulder. Close your eyes. Now take the deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And just soften through the side of the neck. Stay tall in your posture. Keep lifting up through the sternum. And let's take one more deep breath. Very good. And then you're going to release that hand down. And now we will go ahead and slide the feet up. Good work. Go ahead and turn towards the end of your mat. Let's go ahead and go all the way down. And we're gonna do a, a little bit of abdominal work. So walk the feet in towards your sit bones. And we're just gonna take the hands behind the head and draw the hands um, so that you're cradling the back of your skull. Elbows are wide and your thumbs can be along the side of your neck. And we're just gonna do a straight sit up so you're going to take an inhale as you exhale release your low back into the floor pull the belly in and you're going to lift for eight lift for seven here's six and five four keep that navel in three here's two and one good one more set here's eight and seven six and five here's four three two and one very good now go ahead and release your hands down by your side. Good. Bring the knees into your chest and hug. Just take a moment to hug and stretch. Stretch out your low back, stretch your hips. Take a couple of breaths. Just hug in. Very 
very good you're going to go ahead and release your knees just a little bit and take the knees up and over your hips shin parallel to the floor we're going to come into our single leg stretch so hold on to the back of the legs take an inhale to prepare and as you exhale pull the belly in scooping lift the head and shoulders up now again you if you um, want you need to keep the head and neck down that's just fine you're still going to get a good workout in the core you're going to lift you're going to send your right leg out hug the left knee in and then we're going to switch we're going to go for eight seven six five four three two and one it's eight seven six five four three two and one more set it's eight seven six five four three two and last one good work rest nice hug the knees in and let's drop the chin from one shoulder to center to the opposite shoulder deep breath to center drop the chin to the right good inhale and now drop the chin to the left good one more time inhale to the center chin over to the right good deep breath to center and now to the left let's go ahead and take the and we'll come into our crisscross so knees over hips this really works our our waistline the obliques you're going to interlock your fingers behind your head you're going to inhale to prepare and as you exhale you're going to scoop lift the head and shoulders up and now send the right leg out right elbow to left knee and then we go to the other side for eight seven six five four three two and one it's eight seven six five four three two and one more set it's eight seven six five four three two and last one excellent let's bring your feet down to the mat draw your knees open so we'll come into bound angle pose Padakanasana. Rest your hands on your belly and just tuck the shoulder blades down. And now you can push the feet a little bit away. You can make that diamond shape with your legs. You can push the feet out and make it a little bit um, longer or you draw the feet in towards your body. Let's rest your hands on your belly and close your eyes. Tuck that chin in and soften the shoulders down. And just coming a little bit more into our mindful practice. Just feeling the rise and fall of the belly. And this is really good because we've been working hard in our core, you know, really strong abdominal work. Now we just want to soften the belly and give it a moment just to relax. But in the meantime, we're we're still getting this awesome inner thigh stretch. We're opening up through the pelvis and we're stretching out through the psoas. Now go ahead and on your last exhalation, take your hands on your outer thighs, draw your knees in. I would like to do some knee drops. So hug the knees back into your chest and let's just go ahead and stretch out your low back for a moment and just gently rock side to side, hip to hip. Just kind of massage through that low back, the sacrum. And then we'll come to the center. We'll bring our arms into a T, bring the knees back over your hips and so the legs are in this uh, 90 degree angle and we'll keep the knees and the inner thighs together again we'll work again through the obliques so you're going to drop your knees to the right 
Not all, you know, we're not gonna drop the knees to the floor. We're gonna keep them kind of hovering a little bit. Come back to center and then drop your knees to the other side. Good, come back to center. And now drop your knees over to the right. Keep the left shoulder down. Come back to center and now to the other side. Good, back to center, four more. Drop the knees over to the right. Good, back to center. And now to your left. And back to center, good. And now knees over to the right. Come back to center and over to your left. Now what we'll do is we'll come into a twist. So we're gonna draw the knees all the way down to the right. But what we'll, we'll keep the knees kind of hugged up. And one, now if your neck is an issue, you can, you can support your neck with your hands to the side. Let's just go ahead and do that. So we can lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Take one knee at a time. So, so we're going to go to the other side. You're going to drop your knees all the way down. If you have to scoot the hips a little more center, then either hands behind your head. Knees are stacked. I know this is a twist. This is our yoga twist, but we're going to add some, some side, this waistline work, all right? So we're going to lift for eight. It's a small lift. Seven, Here's six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Very good. Now take one knee at a time back to center. Draw your, your knees into your chest just for a moment. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead. So let's roll onto your belly. Bring your um, elbows forward, and let's just do a little upper back. So I want you to draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Press down into your forearms. And just lift up through the crown of your head and your chest. Just take a few breaths here. Now we'll go ahead and we'll straighten out the arms. So stretch them out across the floor. And we're gonna come into what we call the swimmer. Now we're going to lift both the legs, and it doesn't have to be high again, and the feet. And it's just like, so the arms are gonna go like a chop chop and your legs are gonna go. And so we, the lift is the most important part, but don't over arch, don't over lift. This is a small lift. So you're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift the legs up and the arms. And then we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more set. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Now take your hands on either corner of your mat. Elbows are resting. And let's come into a little swan. So you're gonna press your hands down and lift your chest up. You should feel this beautiful stretch through the front of your body. Go ahead and drop your elbows and come down to the side of your face. And now we'll push all the way back and come into a nice child's pose. So drop your hips towards your heels and bring the forehead towards the floor. Now go ahead and slowly come up. Let's do our stretch for our back, which is our cat cow. So knees, just kind of look under, under your knees or directly under your hips. We'll get the wrist directly under the shoulders. Spread your fingers really wide and rotate your elbows out. So cat cow, so inhale deeply. As you exhale, run around the back, tuck the chin in and draw the tailbone down. Stretch through the sacrum. 
and then roll through the spine, softening your elbows. Lift your tail and let the belly soften, look forward. And then push the floor away. This is a really good one to just connect to your breath. Push all the air out. Inhale into your cow. Exhale, draw the belly in, round your back. Open up those shoulder blades. And then go ahead, soften your elbows. You draw the shoulder blades together as you lift through your chest. Tailbone is lifting, belly is soft. Good, push the floor away and exhale it all out. And now inhale, soften your elbows, lift your heart, lift your tail, and look forward. Very good. So we're gonna go ahead and come all the way back to neutral spine. We'll come out into a forearm plank. So come back down onto your forearms. And so I was always taught that you fold your forearms and touch your elbows. And that's pretty close to where you're, you know, for proper alignment. And you're going to interlock your fingers. Now I would like you to think of your cat and cow, but when you're doing the, um, when we're gonna do a plank, I want you to keep the shoulder blades separated. I don't want them to drop in together because that, that will hurt. Actually, it will hurt your back in the long run. It could even hurt you right away. So keep the elbows under your shoulders, interlock your fingers, open up those shoulder blades, so separate them. Pull the belly in and send one leg at a time out into your forearm plank. Good. Really push back through the heels. Drop the butt down so it's even to your shoulders. Let's take three breaths. So nice deep inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Good, bend your knees. And let's go ahead and push back into your child's pose. Really long stretch. So good stretch through the whole spine. We're really lengthening through that whole spinal column. And at the same time, we're widening through that low back. So cross the uh, sacrum. Take three more breaths. Very good, so we're gonna come all the way up. Very good, and we're gonna curl the toes under. Let's do our down dog. So spread the fingers again wide. If the wrists are a little bit of an issue here, you're gonna roll your weight into your thumb and your index finger. Pull the navel to the spine and push up and back into your down dog. And let's just go ahead and do a little walking the dog, alternating those heel digs. And if you want to pause, you can press one heel down, the opposite knee is bent. And let's just switch to the other side. Then let's go ahead and bend both knees. And you're gonna walk your hands and feet into a little forward fold. Let's slide your hands halfway up. Keep your back flat and your belly pulled in. Bring your arms out like an airplane, so out to the side, and now reach all the way up. And then draw your hands to the heart center. Good. So we're just going to do yoga here. You're going to separate your feet into a nice wide stance. We're going to pick up your right foot pivot on your right heel and turn the toes out. Drop that foot down. And now we'll take and bend the knee, come into that nice deep lunge. You're gonna reach your arms out even to your shoulders. And so we're gonna do what we call a, a dancing warrior. So we're gonna spread through the toes and I really want you to watch your knee. Track it over that second toe. So we're gonna go four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and just one more set. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and just one more. You're gonna pause. Take a nice deep inhale as you exhale, come into an extended side angle pose. And drop and bend that knee, so sink into your hips. Rotate, you maybe take your gaze up a little bit. Stay really strong in your legs. Then pull the belly in, come back up into your warrior two. And let's move into our reverse warrior, reaching the arm up. And now we're letting this back hand slide down the leg. And now move back to warrior two. Bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna straighten that leg, pick your right foot up, pivot out to the side. Good, you can readjust, you can toe heel the feet a little bit together. All right, and then we're gonna pick up the left foot, pivot the left heel out. Now you're going to bend the knee, get it over the ankle, and we have this nice deep lunge. You're going to reach your arms out, pull the belly in, and now we'll do our dancing warrior. So we're going to pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more set. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now you're gonna pause. Pause here. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, come into your extended side angle pose. You can take your gaze up if you wish, if that neck is feeling okay. Take another full breath, come back up into our warrior two, nice job. Rotate your left palm up and come into our reverse warrior. Keep the abdominal strong. Lean back just a little bit more, open up through the rib cage. Reach dynamically through those fingertips. And now slowly move into our warrior two. Beautiful, bring your hands to your heart. Straighten out that leg, pick up your toes and pivot. Good, we're going to step your feet together. And now ground your feet to the floor. Feet inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees and sweep down to the earth. So inhale, big circle up. Exhale, sweep the arms down. And one more time. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sweeping down. And now bring your hands together over the top of your head. And now bring your hands to your heart. Thank you guys for joining me this afternoon. Such a pleasure and such an honor. Namaste.